about to start. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to another episode of No Conduct Radio. Tonight, we're discussing a commonly asked question. The commonly asked question, and we're kind of flipping it. The commonly asked question is, how do you land a good woman? So we're also asking, how do you land a good man? So we're giving, we're going to give tips from the guy's perspective and the girl's perspective. <laughs> And then if you're not into either one of them, you don't want to land a good woman or a good man, uh, we have Shar here to tell you how to land a good sugar daddy. Uh, <laughs> men who are looking for sugar mamas, we don't have anybody to tell you that. I'm sorry. Oh, um, so that's what we're discussing tonight, as well as answering <laughs> your relationship questions. Oh, man. So, how's everyone doing? I'm pretty good. good. Other than Can't coming down, we're good. Yes. Over the past week. <laughs> BJ, where were you last week? Where were you? Well, was, fashion show, something business slash right? Fashion show? No, it wasn't a fashion show. It was a business meeting. It was what? Yeah. Business meeting. Business meeting. Oh, but I was saying like fashion business. Maybe was it fashion yeah, business? Yeah, it was fashion business. Yeah, it was fashion. Oh, okay. It was just a fashion show. Of course. What else yeah. would it be? I know. I was. Yeah. I mean, just throwing that out there. I mean, what are the chances of that? You know. <laughs> oh, okay. But, um, yeah. yeah. No, I figured it's something mm-hmm. like that. I missed you. Mm-hmm. You listen okay. to Adam. Yeah. Well, I pulled uh-huh. a BJ today. I have been in nothing but meetings up until the show, and even after the show. So I'm, pull- yeah. I'm definitely pulling a BJ today. <laughs> Really? Logic. BJ? I said okay. logic. BJ. Well, that's what it is. You're always in meetings. You you actually drive to different states to go to meetings. So yeah, I'm pulling a BJ. Um, yeah, drive sometimes. Train, whatever. Fly, whatever. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> I need some sleep. I need some sleep right now. <laughs> Are you and me? Look, look. If I didn't have to do the radio show, I would have taken a nap. Where's Logic? Yeah, he's so it. quiet. I, I know. I don't know if he's actually the there. I can get it to five in the morning. Yeah. Who, you didn't oh, do what till five in the morning? I you didn't get, get in the house at five in the morning. Are you serious? Yeah, I was at a um, pre granny party last night in New York. Yeah, that's crazy. Mm. You were at a pre. When is the Grammy? Sunday. Oh, Sunday. They have pre parties? Good lord. Yeah, of course. Yeah. It's all the hype. You know, to promote those it. People, Absolutely. Make sure people those watch people or party like crazy. See inside people. Yeah. Uh, Actually, I, I, could, I, I couldn't I couldn't do it. I couldn't be in that lifestyle. Yeah. Maybe those food is awesome, I'm sure. Shrimp pat platters passing around and jumping. Oh, what? <laughs> is what? what? I said, Shrimp platters passing around, you know, get appetizers. I, 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 I didn't see none of them. I didn't see no shrimp platters. A lot oh, of champagne. Darn. I didn't see no shrimp platters. And, mm-hmm. <laughs> no. So and what do you all do at those parties? Like just that. network? Is it not a networking? Mm-hmm. You just, yo, you networking. And, yeah, it's networking. Yeah. It's actually yeah. Uh, selling your brand. Selling your brand and your brand is yourself. And it is what it is. Yeah. 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 Mm. <laughs> what you say? No, I, I couldn't do it. I just I couldn't do it, especially all night. I already have a problem with people. Then having to deal with them while I'm sleepy, I I really don't think that's well, gonna happen. Well, it started it started at seven, but it ended around three, so I had to drive back. So you know, I got in at five five thirty six hours. Mm. Like I said, couldn't do it. 
Yeah. And he was like, oh, you going to one Saturday? Because R. Kelly had one Saturday hosting one. I said, nah, I I'm not going to see R. Kelly like that, so now nah, I'm home Saturday. I'm sorry. The, the guy who allegedly pees on 15-year-olds? Yeah. Right. I, I that was telling yeah, that one. I want to be in that scene. Did you say allegedly? Allegedly. Said allegedly yeah. You don't believe that, there, call? There is tell, There is footage. Proof. Of him Proof. doing such a thing, yeah, it's not alleged. He's a pedophile. Exactly. Uh, I don't want to be in that kind of um, that kind of atmosphere. So like, nope, yeah. Not going. So, whose party did you go to last night? It was a uh, Sway Callaway, um, Sway and and some I forgot uh, K Michelle. What her name? K Michelle. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know any of these people. Wow, well, uh, we have to get you out more often away from work. Sway was, I think, <laughs> in a, uh, MTV, I don't know. He's a, um, a host of some shows in MTV, and Kate Michelle is a singer, I think. Yeah, she's a singer. Yeah, she's an RD. Are they new? Artist. No, uh, Kate Michelle isn't new at all. She's very established. Oh, uh, well, I don't know who that is. <clears throat> or Sway, so. I guess that's another reason I can't go to these things, because I wouldn't know who I was talking to. <laughs> Well, that's, there's, that's how you learn, excuse me, and you are, that would be so funny. I'm asking, asking R. Kelly, excuse me, and you are. <laughs> I'm well, so I know who you. R. Kelly is, but I think, I don't think I would recognize him on first glance. Like somebody would yeah. introduce me to him and I'll be like, yeah, my name's Kaya and your name? You he's know, like, something oh, like that. You're not, you're, oh, you're not young enough, sorry. <laughs> Let me stop. Wow. <laughs> No, when he if, when he says R. Kelly, I'd be like, oh, and it'd get like awkwardly <laughs> quiet, and then I'd probably like walk away. <laughs> wow. um, yeah, there's not a many people that I would recognize just by you know turning around, and I don't know how I would react to just see somebody famous because I'm just like, okay, the only difference is you have a lot of money, so why am I gonna scream and cry and faint for you, like? Yeah, that's true. If it's somebody I like, I might really smile really big because, like, wow. But I just don't understand those people who cry and uh, yeah, cry out. Yeah, well, that's crazy. most typically, you know, over, um, sing, you know, recording artists. It's like, so why do you think? But it American doesn't make idol. sense. You have most done idol. nothing for me. You it's sang a song. Amazing. You kept all the money for yourself. And you've done absolutely nothing for my life. So it just, it makes no sense to me. Because. I can understand if somebody, like, had that. donated, I understand if somebody had donated, like, I don't know, $5 million to my business or something because they see the potential in what I'm bringing. That's different. Kai. Like, just, you sang a song. Kai. Kai. What? The, using the idea of the term idol, when people idolize something initially, they're probably doing so based on aesthetics, based on how they look and what they're imagining maybe they can be with them or they're sexy or attractive or just hot or whatever. And a lot of times it's just an immature crush, but that's why they call them idols. American Idol is an example. That's crazy. You you have a, a recording artist who becomes super big, larger than life, and people forget. These people crap when they go in the bathroom like anybody else. You know, a lot of them are hey, broke funny. before they become hey, big. I mean, like, like that. what I mean is they're doing videos and are still broke. What were we saying, DJ? You know, um, the, um, you ever see the footage of um, Michael Jackson's um, uh, Man in the Mirror? And you see the like the guys and the and the, and the ladies crying in the audience. I'm like, Man, guys, I'm like, okay. Guys, I never saw yeah. guys yeah. crying for him. Are you serious? <laughs> My Michael? God. Yeah, yeah he. They they yeah. worship him. But it's like, like a religion. Yo, that person is like a religion. I'm cracking up. I think it's God going yeah. for him. I was like, what the hell? Yep. But, yeah, I, just, I, don't I know. can't. I don't know. But the, again, the thing is, why? And and, and I, I get your definition, Char, but again, I don't understand that. I don't know why. why? You've done nothing I, I towards why. my life. Well, it doesn't sound know. logical. It's, it's more make emotional. Sense for me. It's just more emotional. It's not logical or rational at all. It's emotional. And people psych themselves out to believe that they can actually be that person's wife, especially yeah. the groupies. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, if I can just get backstage, I can just touch him. If I can just get him to get close to me, hey, I can sorry, just. What, 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 what you have a it's crazy. Just come and think, no, you have abs- a no, absolutely not. I, I've always been. Had, no, no, no. First of all, why would I? Why would I be a groupie? I've always been an entertainer, so why would I be a groupie? Oh, no, that makes no sense. If anything, I have my own groupies. 
Okay. That makes no sense. Okay. Here we go. People that are in the business, of course they're not. That doesn't make I any had, sense. If I was just uh, a regular person what? going to a concert, no, maybe people people that are in the young business, girls, business, or whatever. People that are in wait, the wait, business wait, wait, are fans wait, of people in the business. Life. What are you talking about? You know, what? Wait, what? When, okay, listen. When I did my first commercial, it was a national commercial, I was 13 years old. When I did my first, oh my no, God. I was actually discovered. Um, okay. I, well, that's on my bio. Okay. I was discovered uh, cutting, cutting. Cl- no, I 12. said my first. You're not hearing what okay. I said. I said my whole life. That's what I just said. Whole, so I was cutting class in industry, my entire life. life. I've been in the that's entertainment that's business. That's so why would I, so, why okay, would I, I be a wait, 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 wait. That's not, that's not up, exciting to me if I'm around people in the business all the time. Since you got at 13 or 12, did you have on a casting situation? Was I ever what? No. Oh, oh, yes, 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 yes. I have been. Yes. Not at thir- oh. No, not at 13. No, not at 13 I'm, when hey, I became so an adult. Like, What's the casting couch situation? It's pretty <laughs> bad. Um, well, BJ, do you want to tell her? Go ahead. Or I can tell her. Yes. It's, you. it's like um, you have to um, do favors, sexual favors, if you want a certain part or be in, a, you know, whatever, just to be in the industry of a certain part of the, you know, you want to be a star, what they say, a big star. You got to do something, you know, if you prefer you say a big part, and you say, well, what you going to do for me? And you want that bad, let's, you know, do this or whatever behind closed doors. That's called a casting couch, you know. Yeah. Okay, what they, hence, it's, it's coming hence, out now, really. And you know what, hence, and I'm not, I, I really shouldn't put a, put a label on someone that it, that hasn't been taken to court over this, well, taken to court, but not they justified. Don't, don't do but yet. hence, but hence, well, no, I'm going to do it. Hence Bill Cosby. For example, all these women wow. that are coming out. Now, this is kind of old, and that's going back to last year's news. But all these women that, well, that's really what started the Meet Me Too movement. All these women that came out and said, oh, in 1982, um, I was at this party, and, I, you know, he, he tried to kiss me, or maybe he put something in my drink. The point is a lot of these women wanted an opportunity in Hollywood at the time, and they were probably willing to do some derogatory things so that they could, in hopes that they're going to get a better connection oh, or contact it, it, through it that on. person. Do you see it, what I mean? Going, it's, it's going on, I don't know about now, but it's going on before that Weinstein thing came out. It's probably still going on, but it, it just still yeah. like, it's, it's still going on. Trust me, it's still going on. Absolutely, no, absolutely, you're right. But I'm just saying, yeah. I'm just saying, I, I believe, if I believe this whole movement started silently with the whole Bill Cosby scandal. A lot of people may not connect that. Then the next thing you know, there's all these other politicians popping up where it's like, okay, who who's oh. not doing it? It's just that they got caught. You know, well, Cosby, people use their power. Now. He just, he just did mm-hmm. a show, so he's he's getting comfortable again. So he just did a show. So oh, he did. I guess they, oh, I didn't I know guess that. The heat, is, the okay. heat is off of him. He just did like the a heat is off, show. and it's on all the politicians, <laughs> even the yeah, president. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. So Kai, yeah. it's you're asked to do <clears> some very strange things, and many women, many many women say, "Oh, absolutely. How fast can There's I do it? Too. How fast can There's I drop to too. my knees?" Oh, you're absolutely yeah. right. You're absolutely right. Yeah. You're absolutely right. Men and men, women and women, yeah. men and women. Yeah. That, that, it's not that much fame and fortune in the world. I'm sorry. <laughs> right. I agree. Uh, <laughs> I know. So BJ said if a woman pulled that on you, that they'll give you nope, nope. like all the funding you, know you need for your, what you call it, they'll no. back you. Like J-Lo, for instance, no. if she did that to you. No. No, no. because she can troll you. She, she, she can, trust me, she can uh, actually make your career or whatever your company. She can uh, destroy it too. If you keep, um, if you um, deny her um, advances, because she's not, it's not a one time thing. No. You do one level, then you go to another level, you have to do more mm-hmm. things. Nah, that's not right, happening. absolutely. Um, I ain't got time to know. Mm-mm. Yes. <laughs> yeah, BJ, okay. you're absolutely right. I, I, I hear you. Right I hear you. It really is. Yeah. Truth. Real truth. I hear you. But no, um, I I was saying I think I can't remember what show we were talking about. But since this Me Too quote unquote movement, oh my God, I hate mm-hmm. stuff like that. Anyway, since this Me Too movement started, I've been saying that that these women, um, most of them probably wanted it, but now they they can get attention by saying, oh Me Too hashtag Me Too. But right. um, there are ones that didn't want it that just fell out of the game, or the ones who just now had to work harder to be where they are. And they were ridiculed along the uh, along the way along the they way. were saying, yeah. "Well, this person did this to me. Oh, we're going to blackball you in Hollywood." If Nobody you wanted that. to you hear that back then, right? Exactly. And everybody who's doing it now is just jumping on a bandwagon. I don't feel sorry for any of them. The ones that are doing it now, I don't feel sorry for them. 
That well, trust, say. trust, and believe. As BJ and I said, that the casting couch likely had a great deal to do with a lot of those situations. That's just what happens in, in Hollywood, yeah. and it's just a matter yeah. of integrity. Do you have it or you don't? Either you have it or you don't. You don't have integrity. You open your legs. You drop your knees yeah. and keep yeah. silent about it. Maybe he'll tell. Maybe you won't tell. Twenty years later, when you decide you didn't get the connections you wanted and get as famous yeah. as you wanted, then now yeah. you're ready to, to you know to sing like a bird. Oh, I'm going to tell it oh. all. Yeah. I don't remember any details. I'll make them up as I go along. <laughs> <laughs> so, Star, what happened to you? You said that happened to you. What happened? Oh, yes, of course. I mean, at least two or at least two or three occasions. Well, basically, pretty blunt. Um, one time, I went to an audition, and his photographer said, "Okay, now you're really pretty, but I mean, there's a lot of big girls, and you, you, you speak well, and all that." What was? I'm sorry. What was that? Who was it you said? I said I went to. I was going to an audition. No, no, it was that an audition. Made. The name I didn't did. say, I didn't say anyone's name. But, but Why would I do name. that? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, I'm not gonna have my house bombed tomorrow. Oh no. <laughs> right. Like, I'm mysteriously no. missing the next Thursday show. You're like, what happened to her? She's on the radio. She <laughs> melt out there. Her? She melt. Is it too hot? I mean, not like her to just miss the show, <laughs> right? Like I mean, no, but uh, yeah. So I think I know it happened three times. I'll just mis- mention one time because it's too similar. But the thing is, what was it? Uh, yeah, one time a guy actually tried to physically take it. Like he was a like Italian photographer, and this was in New York actually. This was years ago, and he tried to physically. I I kicked him in the balls, and I said I don't need the job that bad. But I did call my agency and I let them know what happened. And of course, I didn't get the job because you know we were just about to get everything set up. I don't know where the makeup artists were. No, they went to the other room, uh, the wardrobe. I have no idea. But all I remember is that 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 part. <laughs> that part. Yeah. I said, oh, my God. Another time the guy just blatantly came out and just said, look, um, I tell you what, if you uh, have sex, well, he didn't say have sex with me. He said, why don't you give me a head? That's exactly what he said. And I'm like, what do you – he said, give me a head, and I'll make sure that you get casted for such and such. It was a good, pretty good job that was coming up, you know, primetime TV or whatever. And I said, oh, my God, I was just I was just upset. Like, I'm insulted. There's no way no, – to me, even Playboy used to come and cast all the time in New Mexico, and it's just too easy to just be in Playboy, and all of a sudden people are giving you all these offers. So I, I turned that down at least twice because so, they so come there often. How many episodes you, you was on that show? No, no, no! I just, I just told, I just told. You know what? Very funny. Did I just say I said no? It's not ass. worth it. I, I, I do have integrity, believe it or not. Maybe not all day long, because nobody oh does all day God. long. Forget you, BJ. I was. You know what? I was on the episode that you were producing. Wow! So that's a, a good hit. There you go. You got the part. <laughs> yeah, right? I got it because BJ was the one making the offer. <laughs> Y'all are stupid. <laughs> um, all right. So have you, I mean, truthfully, though, so, uh, those shot, did you ever say yes to it? No, like, yeah, absolutely not. No, no, because when you're, okay, when you're an actor, and I'm not talking about reality show actors because I don't consider that acting. I'm sorry. You're just being yourself and you're being a bitch like you normally are or you're being a, a scandalous person and, you know, you're doing it more glamorously, glamorously. So if you're a true actor or actress, it's a craft. It's a passion. It's a profession. You study. You train. You live it. You breathe it. It's not, you know, oh, my God, let me just make, take the easy way out and open my legs and get on this big part. No, I'm on this big show. People do it. But but more people, truly original actors, they really love what they do because they love the the you know the the prog- the progress. They love the um, just the idea of knowing that they're able to live vicariously through these characters, or they're doing it for um, just just the the development of all of that. They don't do it because somebody just said here, you know, give me give me some pee pee whatever, and I'll give you this part. It's just too easy. So if you so even for Playboy, it's too easy. It doesn't make any sense. When I was a pinup. I was the first African American pinup, painted pinup online ever, because there's no such thing as real pinup. But we were not allowed to be pinups. We were not permitted to be actual painted pinups back in the day at all. Even Dorothy Dandridge, they dogged her as beautiful as she was. She's so pretty. Even uh, Lena Horne. There's so many of them. So that was my under my own terms. Do you know what I mean? Under my terms. That's not Playboy or anything like that. So. My pinups were beautiful, they're respected, they're sophisticated, they were in the tradition of their original. They were seen in art galleries in New York, the Louis K. Meisel Gallery, if anyone wants to Google that one, um, from, from the Sex and the City. 
that one, that Charlotte worked in, the curator, Charlotte and the character, she worked in the gallery. So that's it. I just went into it. It's not worth it. Uh, so to answer your question, no, absolutely not. I take it more seriously than that, um, the craft. Uh, I mean, as I've gotten older, I'm slipping out of the business because I'm now behind the scenes. I got back into managing a little bit and doing other things and writing and producing, but I really, but when you love it, you love it, you know? So I'm, I'm definitely still in it to some extent, but it's more so behind the scenes, especially with writing and more, more so and um, production or that kind of thing. So, yeah. But there's a lot of people that do, right. Kai. I mean, the whole, like, while we're having this conversation, 30 girls in L.A. just open their legs up, so, you know, for a part. <laughs> pilot, pilot, is it, because isn't pilot season, <laughs> isn't pilot season coming up or something, or did I miss it? <laughs> I mean, because that's a big opportunity for a lot of people. DJ, do you know when pilot season is? I don't, know. I don't know. Wait a minute. Where is Logic? Is he not on? Because Logic really He's has to come here. He's it. just crazy he quiet. Missed he missed I mean, he missed uh, well, can you jump in, Logic? Because you probably know when pilot season is. And that's when these hundreds and hundreds of people are casted. You know that. I'm just okay. sitting back and listening to all these stories that you were telling. <laughs> that's all. <laughs> well, you can call them stories, you can call them accounts, whichever one, but they're all very true. I'm not calling so. them nothing. I'm just sitting here and listening to what you're saying and not feeling sorry for any grown people making grown people choices. That's all. Well, I'm we all here. agree to that. No, we don't, I mean, actually. The, the women out there feel that the world should assist them. Because oh no, I agree. I'm in our panel of flowers. hosts. Agree. That's what I meant. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, absolutely. No, but Kai and BJ and I agree. I meant I meant the the panel. I don't know what the listeners are thinking, but I know what those people are thinking, and they're it's that whole women's movement feminism thing, is what it is. So, uh, well, so uh, far the listeners are very quiet today. So <clears throat> yeah, they are. Maybe they're just pulling the logic kind of like, oh, we're just listening. Okay, well, what about this just new listening. allegation that of Trump? What about Trump's? Uh, there's a new allegation of har- not harassment. Excuse me. Um, was it there's fondling? A was bunch it of allegations of no, harassment no, even was before he newest, became president? No, it's an affair. I know it's the one a, about no, no, the no. porn star. The one about the porn oh, star. Oh yeah. Okay, so but I'm saying, so what, is she complaining before he even became suing? president? Before this Me Too thing, there's been a bunch of allegations about him. Well, yeah, that's true. I mean, yeah, but my question is, okay, let me never mind that. Let's flip the question. How does how do any of you suppose that Melania feels? Because she always covers for him anyway. She I does. Because don't she, think, I, I you, don't mean, you mean think you mean Melania, is. the male order bride who was yeah, about to be <laughs> that one. to her country that she didn't want to be in? <laughs> right, that, that Melania. Orange colored dude. What, 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 what she care? What are you talking about? <laughs> she just said to be quiet. Yeah. yeah okay, well, she let, you know care. what? Did you? Okay, but think about this. That whole trailer thing. You know the whole trailer incident years ago with the Miss America pageant. He was over all that, and he was yapping away, talking. You know the the locker room talk. Here is Melania. She was. She did some kind of a uh, 60, 60, 60 minutes or something exclusive interview, and some. And I think it was Barbara Walters that said, "So, how do you feel? How does this make you feel knowing that your husband said something so demeaning about a woman's vagina?" She says, well, you know, it's locker room talk. Boys will be boys. Um, he knows that I understand these things because the men, you know, they talk in such a manner, but nothing that offends me. And by the way, for people who think I don't have any, any control in my marriage, I make many decisions, and he respects them. <laughs> Boom, where's my exactly Academy Award? Exactly what she <laughs> oh well, you're good that you listen to that because I I don't even know yeah. how she sounds. I, don't know, I, I know nothing that's about great. her. Me no nothing. Yeah, except she has naked <laughs> pictures out, and that's about it. I have no idea she how does. she sounds. She does actually. I <laughs> don't really care about her. But anyway, well for Photoshop, so let's get down to business. <laughs> let's get down to business. So today we're discussing. I have a question before we before we move yeah. on. I have a question. Yes. Yeah. As a woman, for the both of y'all, I take it, offense to that it, statement. <laughs> okay. What? Does it in, does it impact you that the main crux of this woman's movement right now is not about women stepping up to a certain level 
to prove that they can compete, but getting the bar lowered for them to be able to be involved, i.e. I mean, the, the, equally as men or... To be yeah. honest, well, I don't, Logic, I've... I can't, I don't know. Okay, this is how it's always been, not even just in in recent times, but back in the day when they, when women were trying to get, um, like, into the military, for instance. Rules Mm -hmm. changed in the military to include women because they couldn't keep up. As much as women say, we can do whatever men can do, women couldn't keep up. So they had to change, for instance, PT rules, uh, physical therapy, not physical therapy, um, what do you call it, uh, like their workout rules, they had to change it. They first changed it to include women because the women couldn't keep up with the stringent rules of PT. Then they changed it for fat people. But anyways, <laughs> um, <laughs> and, being out in the field, <laughs> and being out in the field, they had to change that for women. And, you know, then the Marines, they changed th- certain things for women. Well, here, and, here's the thing. Here, here's the thing. Though. Here's why, the thing. Well, what, I don't, why bother? I don't, I mean, I don't. I don't mind them changing certain uh, rules in the field or in the barracks in order to compensate for women needing privacy, you know, separate from men or whatever. I don't mind that. But my thing is when, like you just said, with PT, there was a certain level of physical ability that you had to have as a cop or as a soldier, in order to meet the minimum standards of what, you know, they said you had to be. When you start to lower that standards for anyone, be it people that are too short, people that are too fat, or, you know, women that can't do as many chin-ups, like, do women understand that this is not equality, but it is people changing a rule because they just don't want to hear you complain anymore. Like, does that feel like you accomplished something? I or don't, it, I don't, or is I don't it just, that's a good question. So. That's a good question. That's a good question. Yeah, that's a good. Because somebody once, like I was having this discussion and this girl was like, well, what about, you know, the civil rights movement when blah, blah, blah. Like, that's different when you have, there's a story um, I, can't, I cannot remember the details of the name, but they did a movie on it with Alan Rickman and uh, Most Death. There was a doctor, a black guy. He, Alan Rickman, they were both like cardiologists. He figured out a stitching technique where you could do surgery, open heart surgery or whatever. This is the black guy where on a child, and as they grew up and their heart got bigger, this stitching technique would expand and maybe somehow dissolve later. I, I can't remember the, the technical details of what he figured out. But because he was a black person, none of the other like medical associations would even hear. They wouldn't listen. So he had to go through his friend, Alec Rip, Alan Rickman's character, which was a white doctor. And they took it, what he had to say and celebrated him, gave him a plaque and everything. And he had to, like, kind of act like he figured it out just to get the stitching technique out there. And then it was, like, that whole dynamic between them. That's what the movie was about, their, pretty much their friendship. But when you're talking about racial disparities, that's based on just social, the social world not wanting anything to do with black people because they felt like they were beneath them. But it wasn't these these medical associations or these militaries or these business worlds lowering any standard for black people to be able to do it. In fact, a lot of the times they tried to put more obstacles in their way, and they still achieved. But with women, it's like, and I can I I, I can only speak for what's going on now. I don't know how feminism was back in the sixties, but now it's like they want you to change rules. So it can accommodate them being able to say, yeah, I did it too. And that's not how the world works. You know what I mean? If you want to compete, you have to compete. And I I know there's a lot of people that would hear this and say, oh, he's misogynist. But 
it annoys me. Like I heard, like with what they're saying right now, this big thing is uh, Amy Schumer is going out on the internet talking about gender pay gap. Oh, gender pay gap. When it yeah. comes to when it comes to what she got paid from Netflix, Netflix. And, as opposed to what Chris Rock and yeah. Dave Chappelle got paid. And it's like, yeah. wait a minute. First of all, first of all, there is no pay standard in art. One artist can make more than another artist because yeah. this artist does a product or makes something yep. or paints a picture or portrait yeah. or does music that more people will want. Therefore, the, uh, the pay, um, benefactor yeah. who is yeah. giving this artist money to make said art so they can sell it, they have a certain amount of money they know they're going to make from that artist. But just because you too are a sculptor does not mean you can get that Michelangelo money. You're not on his level, so you can't demand that kind of money. Amy Schumer, her last two specials bombed. Her movies yep. are terrible, and she's a known joke plagiarist when it comes to her stand-up routine. She's stolen all kinds of jokes from people. So why do you think you should get paid somebody on the level of Dave Chappelle, which... <laughs> You know, uh, what's his name? Um, Eddie Murphy. And before he died, Richard Pryor said, you're the guy that I feel took it to the next level. Richard Pryor said this about Dave Chappelle. Yeah. What makes you think you should deserve the kind of money that he would get paid? He's a, he is totally out of your league. You know, or Natalie Portman was up on the uh, on the Golden Globe stage with Ron Howard, and she was like, yeah, we're going to talk about the all-male best director well, this I'll, year. Yeah, and it's like year. she <laughs> has her own production company, right? They've done about seven, eight, or nine movies, something like that. She herself has never hired a female okay. director, never hired one. She only had one movie that was directed by a woman in her company, and that was her. She directed it. Okay. So my thing is, why are you trying to act like there's some kind of conspiracy among men? Like, we don't want to give a woman a camera, and we don't want to watch it. You're talking about art. No one cares. No one cares who you are. No one cares. You know what I mean? If you do good work then you're going to get noticed because the Academy is not yep. made up of men. It's made up of women, too. And those yeah. women decide what directors that they feel was the best directors that year. So if they, if they themselves did not vote for any women, what are you complaining about? <laughs> you know, and what, the only woman I, I really that did anything mainstream last year was the chick that did Wonder Woman, which she didn't even want to do Wonder Woman. She wasn't interested in comic book movies or action, they went to get her as a because of this employee. women's like, oh, movement. Woman, that's yeah, it. Women, a woman. This is the first woman directed. It has to be directed by a woman. Imagine <laughs> if they would say that about something something else. Like you're doing a, a a movie about something in Mexico. Oh, we have to get a Spanish person to direct it. There's no <laughs> other way that this movie can be done without a Spanish person direct. Why, why, <laughs> why wouldn't you just get a good director, regardless of if he's Spanish or not? What are you talking about? I will go back to that uh, military question. Was it ever a woman that tried out for um, the, the SEAL team, or is it a woman in SEAL team yet? You said what? Mm, SEAL team. I can't remember. Was there a woman in a SEAL woman. team, he's asking? Uh, the they, team, uh, they said that they were going through the selection process, but she hasn't made it onto the team yet, Okay. as far as I know. The rules change to here because SEAL team now. And I think really, in the SEALs really, team, they haven't changed the rules. I, I don't yeah, think they've they changed, changed it. Anything. That's yeah. <laughs> but, you know, I, I don't, I don't, again, I don't think women look at it as, oh, they're lower in the bar for us. They still look at it as a win because I essentially got what I wanted. I want to be in the military. Yeah, so now I'm here. I, so it's literally just the opportunity to say, yeah, me too. Yep. You know what I mean? I mean, ironically, it's yeah. just it's just the ability. It's just like say, yeah, we made a joke yeah. about this like a couple of years ago. It's just like women in, in construction. I was actually a project manager in construction, and I spoke with the guys in construction about this. 
It's like women in construction. They can't do what the men can do. I spoke with guys, with other male project manager and male, um, um, uh, what do you call it, uh, the foremen in the pro- in the projects, and they were like, well, you know, they were like, can I speak freely? I said, absolutely. <laughs> you know, most people are afraid of insulting women or whatever. I said, speak as freely as you want. And all of them said the same thing, like, women, you know, want to be in construction and we have to hire them at the risk of getting sued, but they cannot do what men can do. They are not as strong. So usually they're crazy? doing menial tasks. If you see them crazy. on the road, you know, people building a road, you tell me, all three of you, tell me right now. And listeners, message in. Tell me right now. Whenever you see them on the road, do you flagger. ever see yeah. the woman doing work or do you see them holding the signs telling oh, you to flag. slow down or go? Yep. That's the exactly. Yep. Yep. Now, if you yep. have yep. ever seen one of them doing work, please message me right now. I want I to know. <laughs> you can call us at 607-203-5378. That's 607-203-5378. Or text in 484-840-3627. 384 And let me know if you've seen a woman doing construction on the road other than holding the flag. That's but crazy. um That's yeah, cool. like they you know, I've I've had conversations with people and then women will say this is sexist, but I'm I'm not I'm a realist. It's not sexist, it's real. Just like a man can't push a baby out of his non existent vagina, a woman is not as strong as a guy and that's just how it is. We cannot do everything a guy can do, and a guy can't do everything a woman can do. And I think it's absolutely insulting for women to think that, you know, oh, we're all in in the same area as men now, but they do have to lower the bar like uh, for us. That's like, that's like you have a child, and you know the child isn't going to beat you at checkers, but you let the child win because you know you have to build their self esteem. That's what's happening. Right. I and that's it, that's exactly that's exactly myself. my point. Like when I when when everybody was so riveted about how brave Oprah was by making her statement, and I was just like thinking to myself, this woman has over three billion dollars. She herself could finance completely independent from any movie house. She could finance it and distribute it worldwide with no one's help. And she could put a woman at the helm of that project. But she's not doing it because she doesn't want to do it. So all of this this idiocy that's being spouted as if you're holding us back. Women have millions of dollars now. Like I said, what's stopping Natalie Portman and all her other femme actors to come together, pool their money and resources, and come up with $80 million between her, Meryl Streep, and Oprah, and all of these others. Uh, um, what was her name? Um, chick from uh, Ocean's Eleven and Pretty Woman. What's her name? Julia Roberts. Oh, Julia what's, what's, yeah. what's stopping all of them from coming up with $20, 20 million apiece, Sandra Bullock and all of them, and coming up with money to bankroll a project? There's nothing stopping them from doing that. That's why I, when I hear black people say, oh, you know they don't want to make that movie because they don't want no, no movies about black, blah, blah, blah. No, Denzel and uh, Morgan Freeman and all them cats, they have money. So that movie yeah. is not being made because no one wants to make the movie. You know, there's something else involved in that movie not being made, but it's don't not you a have to, like, of... for, for For certain movies, don't you have to go through certain people to, well, I guess never mind. In this day and age, you really don't because you could get it on Netflix or anything. Never mind. Continue. No, no, no. <laughs> but wait, wait, go back go, wait, wait. go back to your, what you're saying. If you're talking about distribution, yes. No, there are. Yeah, I mean, like, don't you have to go through certain companies who, I guess, really ultimately own movies to get movies the M- made? The MGM, okay, I, the I was, I was, I was about boy. to break. I was about to break that down for you. The Jewish conglomerate. If you're talking, you're talking about distribution. So if you're saying that you need to go to a company because they have the film stock and the distribution to to make your project happen, yeah, they're uh, Warner Brothers. Um, 
MGM, Disney, Disney. Um, uh, Paramount, uh, Universal, all all of these places. That's that's just <laughs> they're basically distribution companies. So, yeah. but here's the thing. Again, as I said, there is no evil coalition of white men steepling their fingers at a dark table like yes. We don't want this black movie to come out because <laughs> black people would have pride. <laughs> like, if you come to them and say, me and these five other actors put our money together, we want to get this project made. If that distribution studio has, doesn't have to kick out any money, you're coming to them with your $80 million already in hand, Oh, Why would they say no? They, the only thing they're going to do is make money. They have no yeah. risk involved yeah, with all. this project. Even That's if true. they don't think the project would make money, you're taking the risk because you're yeah. paying for it. So, again, there's nothing stopping anybody from doing a Harriet Tubman movie if that really was something that they wanted to do because they have the money between all of these black actors out there to have money. Right. You, you you can't get it made? That's nonsense. You don't want to pay yeah. for it. So what it is right. is you want a project that you want to do, but you want someone else to give you the money to do it and take the <laughs> risk. And yeah. this studio is looking at it like, first of all, the only other bigger uh, audience in the world that's going to watch a movie besides America is China, and China right. does not care <laughs> about black people. So, no, we don't want to put this kind of <laughs> money out. There's no interest at all. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's a lot of racism involved with just, you know, worldwide distribution. Spain will have none of it because they hate black people in Spain. You know, they, and that's an old cultural thing. They they can't stand them. Italy, keep it moving. You know, it, it's, you really are only like, pigeonholing yourself to. Who does like black people? <laughs> What's that? Black people. What did you say? What did you say? Culturally, that's true. There are certain cultures that just kind of really just shun us. Like, I'm not interested. You're not getting my attention. I no, <laughs> that's it. Or they might. It might even be you know certain cultures or countries feel we're we're actually better than you. You know that kind of thing. Or they teach your children. I mean, whatever listen, and, and in the grand scheme of things, even in in this mm-hmm. country where we're from, they don't like us. So it's like you're talking about a studio putting out all of this money to do something that they know is not going to make as much money as something filled with white people. So my thing is, okay, if that's the case, Mm -hmm. but you really feel that this piece of art needs to be made, you can go ahead and do that. But you don't want to because in the end of the day, you want to make money just like everybody else. You know, i.e., the reason that she hasn't hired any female directors is because most women don't want to be directors. (coughs) If they are involved with movies, it's typically as an actress or it's, you know, make. I've never seen a, a guy makeup artist. Never. Never saw it. You know, I'm yeah. sure it exists. Yeah, but there that's is. pretty much there is a dominated lot of them by now. women. I, I'm not, listen, Kai, that's I'm true. not saying they don't exist. My point is that this is dominated by women. There are yeah. some. But it is completely dominated by women, typically. Just like there are some women gaffers who will wrap up these 120-pound cords and go run them to the truck. And Yeah, there are some women that will do that in the industry. However, they're mostly men. Mostly men that are doing that kind of work when it comes to who's doing what in the film industry. So, back to my point with this whole thing that she said. If you want more female directors to be up for best director, then it needs to be more female directors doing movies that they feel are great pieces of work. I don't, I don't understand what, the, what the, I don't understand how how this is a discussion as if the only reason that a woman hasn't won best director yet is because men are they have some kind of secret plan. No, it is not the case at all. The, one of the most powerful people in Hollywood right now is Kathleen Kennedy. She is the um, <laughs> Disney yeah. person that's yeah. taking care of the whole Star Wars franchise. Star Wars franchise. And yeah. you know what she said? She's a <laughs> feminist, and she says, I guarantee you that there will be a female director of Star Wars by the time that this this is all over and 
And then she goes on to say in that same interview, she has an overwhelming amount of male directors that email her, call her, and try to get in contact with her because they're very passionate about a project for Star Wars that they want to do or an idea. However, she's still on a search for a woman. So listen to that logic. <laughs> There's all these guys that have these ideas to do and a, a smattering of women. And those few that she's already gotten, she's decided to pass on for some reason that she's not going to discuss. So my yes, thing please. is, now this this art that could be made is suffering because you have an agenda in your mind that you want to stick to. <laughs> and these movies are reflecting it. She went and hired a uh, a woman writer, right? And again, don't care. If you're good at your job, you, you write great. I, I could care less which, who you are, what you are. This woman, her idea of what was most important for starting a writing staff was to make sure that they were all women. Why? For what? <laughs> what reason would that have to write a, a project? Why would that? Now, again, would it not be idiot, uh, uh, stupid of me? If I'm given the opportunity to write something, I'm going to go out and make sure all of the writers are Asian. <laughs> what what difference does that make? You know what I mean? Like, are they good at what they do or not? Yeah, I don't know, but I just got to make sure that I get Asian, Asian writers. Asian, right? <laughs> what? No, no diversity at all. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And then she, and then she, and the last quote, and I'm going to leave it at this. She says, uh, somebody asked her about the direction that she's taking Star Wars, which because there's a lot of people complaining. She says, well, I have a, a company that I work for that I need to to be sure. I'm paraphrasing here. Be sure that I uh, uh, adhere to our, our standard. Uh, I know that the majority of people – who have watched this franchise and made it what it is are men, but I don't feel that I have any duty to these fans. So she's saying in that statement, (laughs) I acknowledge that pretty much all, everyone that's made this a successful brand, I don't care what they want because I got my own idea of what I want to do. Wow. So again, I ask you if, Like this woman that's playing the, the lead right now, do you feel like you accomplished something because the writing was excellent and it came up with an excellent character that's interesting and you got casted because they felt that you were a brilliant actor who could who could personify this character that all of these people have worked hard on? Or do you still feel you accomplished something because some chick was put in the right seat to make decisions and she has a chick movement in her mind that she's going to do with this brand and that's why you're here. Do you feel like you accomplished something? That's cool. I don't know. I mean, you know, I think women and I wish they would message in. Um, we, Our listeners are really quiet tonight. <laughs> um, but I think women would disagree with you because I, 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 I know you they would. I have no idea. I know they would. So <laughs> my, my question is like, I wouldn't, like if I, if I was raising a little girl and she told me that she made the team because the principal said that he wants a girl on a team and, you That's know, crazy. this is going to end today and, you know, she doesn't care you know, whether or not the team, you know, or, or all of the fans of the team understand or whether or not the team coaches agree, she just wants a girl on the team and she chose her. I, would, I wouldn't let my daughter join the team. Nope. Like, you're not you're not going to be a mascot because, you know, this person yep. has an idea of what they want to No. If you get on a team, it's going to be because you are it's undeniable perfect. at something that yep. you're doing where they're like, yep. yo, we got to get this person on the team. This is unbelievable. But it's like chicks don't, they don't care. As long as they get the, I don't know, say I did it. This is what I did. Yeah, women, roar. But 
then they don't have the, the logic to, to know that they shouldn't be showing up at somebody's hotel room at two in the morning. I don't I don't understand yeah. that. <laughs> for for me. <laughs> That's why you know women playing NBA basketball on that level. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I think this is the wrong group. I know you're gen- um, saying this to the listeners, but this is the wrong group for you to actually talk to to see if we disagree with you. Because I agree with you. BJ obviously agrees with you. I'm pretty sure Shar agrees with you. So, but it's just it's like nobody's saying anything. Like nobody's calling out Oprah for being sanctimonious. With her acceptance speech. Well, for no, the, for the no, 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 wait, wait, wait. Yes, hold on, hold on, hold on. Who's really going to call them out? <laughs> well, no, no, no. But listen, I, it, it's not about whether or not she has yes men because the internet will come out and roast anybody. They don't care. They take down powerful yeah. guys over yeah. an opinion or over a, a, a rumor by some yeah. nobody that says, oh, he pinched my butt back in 73. And they and will they completely just destroy yeah, his destroy. career. Yeah, so my destroy. thing is, Oprah was getting a Cecil award. award. That's, I mean, that's, uh, listen, some people say that's monumental, whatever, but she says that there's some black girl right now watching her. She wants her to know that, you know, she can do anything and she can change. So Oprah getting this award is more than Condoleezza Rice becoming the first secretary of state that's a black woman. What uh, uh, Michelle Obama being the first black woman first lady? Yep. So this is this is more important than Serena and Venus Williams dominating the sports world with their mm-hmm. physical prowess and their skill at tennis. They are unstoppable. That she that her getting that award was better than all of that. Barack becoming yep. the first black man to run the country. Uh, yeah. That means nothing compared to Oprah, Oprah. getting Oprah. This, yeah. This, yeah, this award. Yeah, she wants she wants uh, so whatever girl is watching her is now inspired for life. Yeah, because, because <laughs> Oprah said it. Yeah, Oprah said that. That's that. She, 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 that's that power they get. Well, her. yeah, that was the speech that everybody's saying she should become president behind, which I didn't see it yeah, as crazy. a presidential speech. Yeah. I was just like, yeah. okay, she that's, said that's this these words eloquently. Yeah, because they they make her on that pedestal as she does a powerful black woman in Hollywood, and they give her that that um that crown and just go with it, just say what you want to say, and they don't get they don't get you know she don't get uh spanked or nothing, just say it, just do it, give it to Oprah. Yeah, it's crazy. Well, we have one listener who messaged in talking about the um if they've ever seen a woman uh in the construction on the road road construction. Uh, the person said they only saw one, and uh, no offense, but she was a butch. <laughs> so <laughs> that's the, yeah. But that's, what was that surprisingly, butch doing? That's was that the butch only answer I've gotten on is just the one. Or was that butch? Was that butch swinging a sledgehammer with the rest of the dudes? Where was that butch at <laughs> when they yeah, saw? Yeah, was he? Was he on the? A back end digger, what they call a back hole, what they gonna think? <laughs> Heavy equipment. <laughs> so, if listener, if you can message in, I don't know if you heard the question. Were, was she out with the men swinging a sledgehammer, working actually on the road, or was she holding a sign? So that's what we want to find out. <laughs> it'd, be, it'd be funny if the listener messaged in and said she is holding a sign. <laughs> yeah, holding a sign. Okay, um, so. Uh, we actually have to get to what we were talk we were going to talk about. Um, and uh, if any woman is now hot for logic, <laughs> based on what he's saying about women, wow. you can always wow. message him on Facebook at Logic Wiseman. <laughs> wow, damn! <laughs> no, there might be some women out there that agree with logic. I really think that the majority of women will disagree. They'll have some illogical reason as to why they disagree. And I know if C was on here, oh, my gosh, sometimes I miss C. But I know if C was on here, she would totally disagree with logic. That's in their nature. But see, but that's exactly my point. Like, I don't like stuff like that. Like, just be – like, right now, I got so many friends and family that are so excited about this Black Panther coming out. I'm not. Because when I heard 
what they were doing and how they were trying to package this thing, where it's like, for the first time, a, a black a black hero is going to be in a movie, and black, which is a lie, because Blade came out back in '98. You know Blade. what I'm saying? And that was that was the first. First of all, that there was, was the first Blade. Rated no, R there comic was Blade, book. and there was um, uh, Michael J. White. What did he play again? Spawn. Spawn. Yeah. yeah, Spawn. There was Spawn. There was Blade. But, but that was Blade was the first rated R mainstream um, distribution of a comic book character, black guy. And it was amazing. It was, it was excellent. It did. It was that was the best Blade yeah, they ever yeah. did to this yeah, day. Now my thing is, um, it didn't matter who directed that movie. It wasn't a black director. It was a white guy or whoever it was, and they got whoever to write it. This Black Panther, they made sure that they went out and got a black director who hasn't done pretty much anything before this movie. The the writers is haphazard team of people that come and go, but you know they're making sure that they're all black because the blackness of the black black we have to sell to the black black of the black black. It's like <laughs> just make make a good movie. You don't need all of that. Make a good movie. You know, well, and, and I was like, excited about is, Black Panther can't... until I saw until I saw the clip where the girl was explaining his suit to him, and she was like, "It, you know, it whatever is in it that you know doesn't let you feel pain or whatever, it does something else, and and it slays." I was like, "Oh, no, 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 that's, no, no, no. that's not what she said. That's not what she said. What did she say? She said it has this, it has this gadget to make you run faster." And, has, and why you would be explaining this to the person that that has had this suit passed down in their family from generation to generation is beyond me. But anyway, continue. It's beyond me. But, you know, you're explaining all this. And, oh, yeah, it has swag. Yeah, that's what it was. It has swag. swag. I completely, I completely lost oh every that's piece what? of interest I had writers. in the movie. That's the black writers. Every piece. And I was, look. I was the one saying, "Look, y'all gotta watch this." I don't. But as soon as they said that, I completely lost every piece of interest I had in the yeah. movie. I was. And you like, said oh. something that I can't stand behind. You said, "Well, I'm going to support it because it's a black superhero." Listen, I am not supporting garbage <laughs> because if you go out well, and you support gar wait, if you go out and you support garbage, then they're going to think that they did the right thing by what they did. And they're going to keep making said garbage. That's why one well, woman that's what I was about to say. because when all women ran out. That's what I was going to say. When you rebutted with that's what they did with Wonder Woman, I saw your point, and I really don't think I'm going to support it anymore. Because, like, if they mess this up, they're just going to keep messing it up, just like they did with Wonder Woman. And they are now coming out with Wonder Woman 2. And Wonder Woman one was garbage. So they completely shat on Wonder Woman's just name. Yeah. Yeah. You can't do perfection over. It was it was great in the seventies. We should have left it right there in the seventies. No, I mean you listen, you can you could definitely update Wonder Woman to be something hot. You know, but the thing is, get people because there's a little known fact. Boys are what made Wonder Woman a successful comic, not girls. I don't know why people can't admit girls do not read comic books. There's a handful of chicks that do, do. but there's n- most of people who read comics or science fiction, play video games, or, or whatever, are boys. Girls are not into that kind of stuff. Typically, I guarantee you, every, I would say, Nine out of ten listeners of this show, not one of them will be able to tell you, oh, yeah, I had a comic book collection, you know. And I'm not including, like, My Little Pony or whatever. I'm talking about, like, Spider-Man, Wolverine, whatever. Yeah, like, they're not cool. Fantastic Four, Silver Surfer. I had all of those. Oh, yeah, Silver Surfer, yeah. Um, but that actually, we, let me say this last thing, and then we actually have to get into what we were trying to talk about. But that actually coincides with what you were saying, Logic. The Wonder Woman movie, it completely strayed away from Wonder Woman's character and made her, mm-hmm. her <clears throat> good Lord, made her a woman, quote-unquote, of now, where 
first of all, she was naive as complete crap. Second of all, the first man she comes across, she sleeps with him within, what, a month? And third of all, the only thing that made her unleash her power was said guy died. So now suddenly she became so powerful. Which is complete and utter crap. I would have been if I've ever if I'd ever watched that movie, which I'm still boycotting it. I said I would watch it when it was free, and it came to the time when it was free, and I went to get it, and I felt nauseous, and I didn't get it. But um, <laughs> I, if I had watched that movie, I would have been completely just insulted because this is this is how you see us women. Like you're trying to tell us that we're independent, but clearly she wasn't. You know what I'm saying? And that's not who Wonder Woman is. So. For us to get, quote, unquote, our own movie uh, directed by a woman, we still had to lower our standards. You know what I'm saying? So that was completely insultful. But women were just like, oh, this is the best movie I've ever seen. Wonder Woman. All. You know, it's the same thing that you're saying, Logic. It's completely the same thing. And I don't know why women can't see that. I just don't understand it. But whatever. I don't have arguments or debates about this because I will be wasting my breath. Uh, and to answer your question, that butch woman was actually driving the truck that poured the concrete. So. Oh, she's a dump truck. Oh, damn. Truck driver. Truck driver. Like, okay, okay, but. That's like a I mean, truck that's, that's, that's still not project. lifting up the sledgehammer to yeah. bash the concrete it's and break it up. Something. You're still doing. So anybody can drive. I can drive. Hold on, hold on. I'll, I'll give her credit for driving um, a, a, a concrete mixer. <laughs> You know what I mean? That's not that's not typically a femme a femme position, you know. Okay. But mo- most of the time, most of the time, those chicks are holding time most of the time. Yeah. I yes, mean, look, works. I I I don't give her credit because I was taught to drive anything with on wheels. But then again, the person who taught yeah, me. Yeah, but we've already discussed that you're a dude, so we're talking yeah, about regular chicks. Yeah. <laughs> you a body of a woman, but your you are you were either in the past, your past life, or you know something because yeah, you just so yeah yeah. I'm yeah that. <laughs> look, look. To be honest, to be honest, I do <laughs> fantasize about being more feminine. Like I, I see women walking that around with their little dainty heels and their nails always painted and their hair always done in their makeup, and I'm like, I wish I could do that. But then I think about the, all, the more logical side of life. Like, okay, if my hands are pa- if my fingernails are always painted, I can't, you know, fix my drain if it messes up because now it's gonna scratch my fingernail paint and I'm gonna have to put it back on. And, and I can't drain. fix this. I can't do this. I can't. So I don't, why? I don't do that. Or my hair is always done. Okay, but then if I take time to continuously do my hair, then the meeting that I could have had for that hour that I was doing my hair, or, you know, putting on this makeup. But then if I sweat, blah, 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 if my eyes are itching, blah, 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 so it's just, it just doesn't Damn. make sense to me. So I just don't do it. Good Lord. And then I want to learn to walk in heels. I want to learn to walk in heels, but then, like, why? Like, I'm in my 30s, like, why? Yeah. <laughs> I attract oh, guys in anything possible? that I'm in, so man. Oh, is it possible getting too much into every little tiny little thing that's about naturally, like things that women naturally like? You don't have to like makeup, you don't have to even wear it. But isn't it possible that you're over analyzing? In, in the military, they call it unnecessarization. Don't you think just a little? Yeah, so that do it, all of that is overanalyzing and over accessorizing my already natural beauty. So why do it? You're right. Thank you. <laughs> wow, that was exhausting to hear. It really was. More like the funny so, you. So, anyways, um, that was a little bit of insight into me because Shar said, Shar said we actually, we always pull her life out of her and we never share anything of ourselves so i'm going to start what? sharing more of myself so we can make char feel comfortable so that was an oh, insight into wow. my life i'm not well, a girly girl some, can we call her throw her life out yeah. but couldn't bj and logic <laughs> also be part of the unit you're not Hold standing up. on your own char you always throw your life out there though you know we don't pull it out of you you throw it out there oh wait, that Look. is not true you got to take. Okay. 
Um, so the be, question is, is the question of tonight's show that we only have like 25 minutes on <laughs> is how to land a good woman and how to land a good man. So from oh Logic and DJ, in this what? day and age, 2018, uh. How would you land a good woman? Do you think they are out there? Do you think they could find them? You could find them. Well, they out um, there, but damn. Um, you talk, you said a good woman? A good woman. A good woman. <laughs> yeah. Know. Okay, first of all, they out there, but, you know, good woman, it, you know, you got to look hard and go through a lot of dead, dead ends, you know. Is, so you mean trying to find them? You you do come into you fall into a lot of dead ends. Dead end women, yeah. A lot, a lot. Oh, dead end women. But I mean, how would you? How okay? First of all, how long how? do you think? Okay, a, a young man, so like in his twenties. How long mm. do you think it would take him to find a good woman? Well, actually, in their twenties, they are looking, but um, they just look for the next hole to get into. So, good uh, they yeah, do the next hole to get into. It could take. Three weeks to a month. Is this how twenties in the twenties? I know when I was in my twenties, I was looking for the next hole to get into every end of the month. So taking my experience. <laughs> Good was, Lord. Oh yeah. I was thinking about no long term relationship in my twenties. Right. I was working out my hand, get some free food and maybe something else on the side. I mean a lot of young guys do say that. You know, well, you and then the guy that has his head on his shoulders, he got you know cost and stuff his life goes instead of head right. in his twenties, which is rare. Yeah, I mean, he has to go out and don't go to the typical single bar things, you know. That's not going to happen, you know. Go to, like, a poetry museum or something like that. If it, you know, he's, you know, something like that. Not no typical um, night club and stuff like that, a strip club. You didn't find a woman. But there, I don't even so. think, like, in this day and age, you could really find a, a good woman if you go to a museum because everybody knows the oh. quote-unquote tricks. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, a guy would go to a museum – Pretending to be a guy who likes painting to find someone, or or right, like then. we talked about uh, earlier, well. a guy you know a guy goes to the playground with his daughter or his little son to make it look like he's a great parent, but he's really just like trolling for bitches. So <laughs> that's a good move. That's, that's, a, good move. Like that move. that's a good move. Man, that's a good. Anyway, that's a good move. <laughs> it's a, that's a good. I'm sorry, yeah. the lottery, That was a good move, man. That was a good. No, nah, it was. It was your boy. I think. Yeah, that was a good move. <laughs> yeah, it was his boy. That wasn't a good move. That was horrendous. Don't don't give that that's credit. Good. It's hilarious. But um, that's what I'm saying. Because these chicks are coming up to fall like, for it. I know. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what I'm saying. Hey. It's like, how can you find a good woman if everybody knows the tricks? And it's just on the flip side. How do you land a good man? Because you well, can be saying a guy who listen, has his women, stuff together. It's, and, it's, it's a lot easier for women. To find a good man, and I'm gonna tell you why. Continue. If you just listen and hush your mouth, most of these, as as VJ just said, a lot of guys is out here running and gunning, you know. So, if you want to weed them out, what you do is you tell him, "I'm not gonna bang you at all. It's not gonna happen. I can't even. I, I'm guaranteeing you, it's not gonna be within six months." It's not happening for you. But I still want you to put the same time and effort into me. You know, I've been hurt in the past and blah, blah, blah. You could be totally honest. You don't have to lie. There's no games involved. You could tell them, you know, there's a couple guys came before you and they, you know, have made me sour on this whole thing. And so I've already put in my head that no kind of sexual uh, interaction is going to happen. If he puts the same energy and time into you as if you're banging and peeling the wallpaper off like every day or whatever, you're sweating up the joint. Mm -hmm. If he's putting that same kind of effort into you, then more than likely he's either A, a very committed sociopath who is so (laughs) intent on getting the cooch, like he is on a whole nother level of concentration for him, or B... He genuinely likes who you are and doesn't want something like that to come in between his possibility of being with what he deems to be a very special girl. But most of them will, number one, get turned off and irritated at the fact that you even said that. And you, they will try to put up the, the facade because they'll think you're probably running a game 
And it's like, yeah, you know what? I, uh, I'll just be extra charming and see if she'll give me yeah. a bitch anyway. And he'll probably try, maybe a month, maybe even two or three months. But it's not going to be much more than that. He's going to lose interest, stop calling, and then he'll slowly start making his exit and making excuses of why he can't be around anymore. And you already know what you need to know. Yeah. It's harder for men because women are con artists. Women yes. figure out what kind of men they deal, they're deal they dealing with, and they use that kind of psychological game in order to get him to – to get comfortable and blah blah blah. That women do that. Women play more psychological games than men. Men are about this, and they make it very clear that they're about this. They might not come out and say, "Hey, listen, I'm trying yeah. to take you, you know, home to the spot and blah blah blah." There's very few dudes that would be that forward, but yeah. no guy's gonna turn it down if you give it to him. There's women out there that will want to bang a guy, but still try to act God. like I, I don't, Hold I don't up. know and. I, uh, in her mind, yeah. she can't wait she for this dude to roll yeah. the panties down, but she'll act and do this 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 kind of character to jump make the this, yep. like to get hey, the make this guy have an idea that yeah. oh she's she doesn't do this then you know this this is something special because she's doing it with me and yeah so it, it's a lot di- more difficult for a dude to kind yeah. of weed out which one of these chicks are real. Yeah. How many of these girls who who say, I love you, which ones really mean it and which ones are saying oh, yeah. it because they're trying yeah. to get this guy right. to start developing yeah. feelings and emotions for her. Yeah. Lot, you guy, know how I many women that yeah. I've heard say, I fall in love easily, then you've never fallen in love. you never fall in love then. Hell no. Because <laughs> if, if a guy tells a girl before he get the cooch that he loves her, uh, he he gonna never get it. No no not never never. She gonna play him for a whole while. Right. See how much you see how much you love her. She love him. That's crazy. Yeah. That's well, crazy. I have a, a message from a listener. Uh, I guess they were about to ask a question, but Logic answered it. The question was, uh, they said I was about to ask, what if he waits those six months and but he still leaves. But I guess you already answered that question, Logic. Because <laughs> he was um, he was playing on like, getting it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why. And that's why you don't I, ever give a hard date. You don't say we have to wait at least three months before because that's all he's going to do is that number. Yep. said, okay, three months. Yep, three all months. right, so I gotta do, don't don't even just be vague. Like <laughs> yep. uh, it's, it's more than likely not going to happen for you, dude. I'm just going to be honest with you. But if you still want to go out and you want to, you know, take me out and you want to get to know each other, yeah, we can do that. You know, I, maybe maybe one day I might. You look at you that way, but quite frankly, I think you're a liar, and I think you're hustling, and you're not getting anywhere near this at all. You know, like he, yeah, there's gonna be dudes that look at that as a challenge, and there's gonna be other dudes that are like, oh, I'm out of here. The ones that look at it like a challenge, stick to your gun. Do not kiss him, touch him, you know, do anything. Don't let him grab on you and touch you and get his little jollies off. No, no, none of that phone sex. But you don't understand. I've said that and guys have what? waited 10 15 oh my god years and still no 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 so this is where you, no no no, no this is where hold on this is where you went wrong you're saying that a dude stayed in the pocket for 10 or 15 years you Damn. you allow this dude to continue to have access to your life if you say it that he waited that long amount of time, there was some signal or some sign that he was around you to try to mess with you, and you ignored it and tried to turn him into mm. a friend. You lied to yourself. Oh, probably. Maybe I that ignored it because it didn't make a difference to me. Huh. What did you say? What? I said I was going to say no, but then I said, well, yeah, maybe I ignored it because it didn't make a difference to me what they thought. Uh, they were around for I'm, a purpose. Listen, I'm, I'm guaranteeing you. I'm guaranteeing No dude wants to just hang with a girl. No, 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 no. no. You I'm got a pretty it, fun it, girl. I'm pretty awesome. Oh, nope. So. nope, nope, nope. <laughs> Listen, Kai, <laughs> you're very yeah, different yeah. from a lot of women, yeah, but I'm going to yeah. tell you right now, we would not yeah, hang yeah. out because, the quite frankly, is, you, you're yeah. not into anything or, or yeah. into any of the conversations. I am I into have. a lot of stuff that you're into. I may not be into pool and sports and yeah. girl watching and 
Girl, 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 are you familiar with the movie called Mysteries of Chess Boxing? I watch movies. I may not have watched uh, <laughs> see, you no, you see or, now BJ. Or, she's already answering saying? the question like a girl. Do you hear that? I I asked her if she knew about this movie. She said, I watch movies and I, for me I You're already <laughs> talking yes like no. a girl. You know what I mean? That's annoying. It's either yes or no. Oh no. Yes or no. <laughs> You don't. She's like, I watch. <laughs> yeah. She start answering. She starts sounding like Kim Kardashian. Well, I, I. Well, see, I'm, I'm hoping that as I'm answering the question, you're distracted by my jiggling pity. So. Kind <laughs> artist. Kind artist. Kind artist. There you have it. Kind artist. And I'm telling you right now. women down a hundred years. I'm sorry. I'm telling you right now. There is some jelly spine dude out there that is quote unquote friends with some hot girl and he will endure her nonsense conversation because Man. she's sitting on his couch with her leggings on that she's wearing his pants and he gets mm. to look at those creases and curves while well, she's talking and not paying actually, attention. Actually what you do okay. is you wear you wear like the um what do you call those skin tight jeans? You wear skinny jeans and then like in oh, the, the winter leggings? you put on you put the on jeggings? um uh, what is that? Leg huggers, boot huggers? I forgot what they're called. Leg warmers. You put oh, that on God. up to your knee. That's what you do. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What, what are you talking about? Wait, you jeans? Know you having a flashback? What did that do? What did that do? You want to take it back? No, you put on, uh, on your, your um, skin tight jeans. You put on the leg warmers over the jeans. Look. You, you have, put leg warmers like, on what? the jeans. Over jeans? Why? Yeah. You put and then leg you put warmers on over like, anything. That's I'm why they call leg warmers. You put on like boots still over that with like just no, a little no, bit no. of a heel. Then you put on a cute no. little shirt. Listen, but it has to be any baggy. Woman, so any woman, any woman <laughs> listening to this, do not take this fashion <laughs> that, that she's giving you right now. Because that, 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 that works for me. That's all I know. It works for me. You can take my fashion or not. But then again, you wouldn't. Then again, most women think if you show skin, that's what brings the boys to the yard. So they wouldn't take my fashion sense anyway. Oh my God! I think that was like nice. I couldn't even imagine people. showing cleavage. I would die if I showed cleavage. Like, oh my God, I would feel so what? naked just showing you cleavage. Show I cleavage. couldn't do it. I couldn't oh do it. That's God. so invasive. Like, oh my God, couldn't what? do it. Couldn't do it. Okay. It's yeah, not invasive. Put your yeah, head down there. It is so invasive. Yeah. You're looking at my like, freaking titties. Like, titties. like <laughs> what? Yeah. I like that. What did you say? I, I said, don't know. Like, just your nipples. Like, if someone stuck their hands there, that's invasive. How is it invasive if you're just walking past, you know, the grocery store or and shopping or whatever? And you're showing half of your breast? That's not invasive that is, to you? But why do you, but no, invasive is when someone is, is invading something. No one's invading anything. Like, listen, let's, you're let's, showing let's, your breasts. Let's, let's, I'm a straight on, woman, and when women let's have table, cleavage, I can't table. help but look. I have to look in that crack. <laughs> Another another yes. show. Another show. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Cleavage so show. basically to find a good man, you have to make him wait and that's the man that's gonna be with you. And that's that's maybe ninety percent of the time because ten percent of the time somebody's just gonna wait just to do it. And we haven't figured out how to find a good woman yet because apparently women are just conniving gold diggers. Is that what you're saying, Logic? <laughs> No, well, I see, what it is, is uh, uh, look, men have to do the same thing I just suggested, but men, women don't care about sex, so it's like, like it's not like men can withhold sex and see if a woman is going to be around. Women are after a man's time and attention, so what men have to do is stop giving husband energy to chicks that haven't earned the wife title. You don't yeah, listen to true. her prattle on. And whatever. Let me tell you about my day. How? No, no, no. No, no, no. You're not going to tell me about your day. I'm going to go. I'm going to go take a shower or whatever, and I'll call you later. You know, you have. she has to wait to get that kind of level from you. Oh. You can't sit there and just run around and, oh, what you got? You, what happened? Oh, yeah, my cell phone is going to get cut off. And you know my thing will be? All right, well, uh, whenever you get it cut back on, just uh, give me a call, and I'll holler at you. You know, if she doesn't, if she gets irritated, 
with that and says, you didn't even suggest to even help me in, hello? Yeah. Hello? Hang up on it. Because that's not <laughs> the problem. Yeah. yeah, yeah my that's wife true. or something. I'm that's not helping you. What are you true. talking about? Feed it, bum. You can't afford forty dollars a month. Yeah, get lost. Well, sorry, real quick. Oh, that was the thing I was gonna say. Basically, what? according to your logic, logic. According to your logic, then BJ's an asshole. No offense, BJ, but BJ's an asshole. Because in an what? earlier show, he stated that, um, what was it? It was like we were talking about dating. Um, and you said that if the girl didn't give it up, like, you know, give it up or say she, you know, I'm I'm, I'm waiting until marriage or whatever she said, you would just, you know, it's, okay, this isn't going to work. I'm out. Peace. Well, yeah, so by your logic, logic, BJ's a, a dick. <laughs> wait till wait till she's married to get it. Yeah, I'm out. I'm fine waiting that long. What? Wait a minute, I, then, I'm that, not then, then, then to me, that means you're not a good man. Then I would have no, to. I, no, if I'm no. saying I'm so, waiting, no, no, that's crazy. No, no, a good man. Oh, you a waiting till sex marriage you is married. crazy. No, 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 no. Not so much sex. I didn't think it was a marriage. You said uh, wait till you uh, have sex in marriage. I said the first. Yeah, I'm that saying kind of thing. that's crazy. No, but listen, I, I, let, let, I, listen, let's, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm about to, I'm about to shoot a hole in your Well, it's rare. Now, now, BJ, BJ, Yo. if, if there was some girl that, who, like, who, who looked like your favorite or whatever, like, whatever your, your okay. the I got you. epitome of your, all right, she okay. had her, her everything together, and she tells you, listen, I'm digging you, however, I'm not banging you no time soon because there's been so many dudes that blah, 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 and that's not happening. But, you know, I want you to still put that same energy in, in, into this and get, and show me that you're different. Now, the option of being with this, this the, the pinnacle of what you've been looking for, I, as much as he's saying, I'm out of here, I do, I'm guaranteeing you right now. Oh, yeah. DJ, I would marry her. Stick it out. Oh, yeah. You stick that, it out yeah. and wait as long as he needs to and still put that energy because he realizes this yeah. is the opportunity of a lifetime, and every woman should be waiting for a guy that feels like this is an opportunity of a lifetime to get with this girl. If you don't have a guy like that, if you're getting with a guy that's with you, because, yeah, she's cool and everything, you're on borrow time because there's always going to be a cute chick out there with daddy issues or whatever that's willing to circumvent your position all the time. It's always going to be, and, and just like men, it's always going to be some dude out there saying to your girl, if you was my girl, I would make sure that I had enough time to blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and, and, you know, and if your girl is weak in the head like that, yeah, she's going to cheat on you or she's going to be talking and carrying on and doing something behind your back when you get tired or if you settle into life. That's going to happen. Is, so you have to have is. a girl that appreciates who you are, just like you got to get a guy that's you know, enthralled with you. Period. I know. I, I, I know this. Uh, I know this girl. Um, this lady I know for like a year. Was going on two years, whatever. And she, she could have been a perfect woman, girlfriend. She, I told her to her face. I said, "You got every quality what I'm looking for in a woman, but thing is, you got so many other issues. It's just like I can never get that full balance." And she's like, "Wow." Once you just try and just, I said, "I can't because you got that other issues. I can't. I can't. Just can't see to it." I mean, I was, she was she nice. She everything. Was like, I was like, damn. I said, I I, I gotta you know. Well, okay, and not to get into. Yeah, well, you I'm didn't not, give a name, but what I'm, other issues nah, made you nah. not move nah. forward? Was she oh, really a man? Because she was hiding her gender. No, she's not she a man. No, she's not a. Oh no, she is she has no. Oh, here you go. She, here you go. She has no realistic goals in life. She um uh. She, she she's living at home. She's scared to go out on her own. Um, that's crazy. And um, it's a lot, a lot wait a stuff. second, she's, she's living at home. How old is she? Well, she's forty, going on forty five. But that is, and that is quite she hard still lives with her parents. Yeah, wow. but, so the issue, but the thing is, the thing is, she don't have any uh, realistic goals in life that sustain her as far as either um, financially. Just like she living into me like a fantasy world. But she just cause she's crazy. But it's a whole different thing. But she got every other quality for as a a woman, a perfect woman that way. As far as with a man, everything else. But 
the other issues I cannot get. I she I can't get to. I can't. And she was she oh she was crying. She looked at me crying. I said I'm sorry. I just can't put myself through that situation, you know, and just like deal with your issues while I'm still thinking, okay, it's a long lasting thing. Well, please, I gotta DJ, let me ask you this, DJ. Let me ask you this. If you became more serious at some point, and even what? if it even were to let me just say hypothetically, if you became let me talk fast because our show's on for talk five fast, more minutes. Talk fast. Okay. If you became serious at some point and you just kind of overlook some of the other issues. If you ever became her husband, she won't be living with her mom, her mom so that's one strike. The okay, okay, okay. No, no, no. Oh, my God. No, no. no. How, BJ, how do you – how do you, she didn't have goals. Her goal could have been to be a good wife to you one day. Or maybe no, 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 no. Or maybe, no, that's not, that's uh, not a know, goal. That's not a goal. That's, that's, that's I not said a goal. Probably, that's that's not right. Right. So, Shar, wait, wait, wait. Listen, listen right. to what you're saying, Shar. So her goal, her goal in life – only require her to bang some guy and be with him. No, that, no he's not some guy. Oh, come on, man. It's like a woman <laughs> saying her dream was to be a, a mother. So <laughs> so your dream, all your dream consisted of is letting a dude dump in you raw? Logic. Logic. How That's do you all know? you needed to do for your dream? How do you know? How many goals? How do we know that? Just because they may not be the goals that he was hoping for, he has a right to say this is not what I want. No. Okay, all right, all right. So, no, Shar, wait a minute, wait a minute. So, Shar, flip, 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 the, flip the table. Wait a minute. Hold on, hold on. Flip the you table. Know, you meet a guy. You meet a guy that's in his 40s living with his mother. Is that the guy that you're going to settle down with? We're talking about a woman. I just said if she married him. It she... doesn't matter. No, it doesn't matter. You're talking <laughs> about an adult. Not a man. No, if if no. this guy, if this guy is saying, I want you to be with me, and I want you to take me serious, but he's living in his mother's basement at 40-something years old, is that a guy that you would invest in? No, of course not, Logic. Okay, I mean, so she's a loser, and he had every right to tell her to kick rocks. She's okay, a well, loser. Differently than women, Logic. But what if the woman was sick for six months and she moved back in with her mom? There's circumstances. It does not. Right? Then you, know what, no, then no. you know what she would have said? You know what she would have said to him? I had to move back in the house because I got debilitatingly yep. sick. Or I was in a car accident where my leg almost got amputated, and I have been recovering, and I can't wait to get out of here. I've been working, saving up my money. She has a plan. She would have said this to him. She would have shown that she's been making strides to do such things. So he would have said, oh, okay, she just went through a hard patch in life. That's understandable. Just like a guy. No woman out here should take any dude seriously that's still living at his mother's house. I don't care. if He's over the age of 30, I would say 32 because of the way yeah. the world is okay, right I now. Yeah. So if, if over the age of 32, he doesn't even have a plan. He's just <laughs> living at his mom's house. <laughs> Stay away from okay. that guy because he's juvenile. So how do we know she? Okay, could we just ask BJ just to get this over with? Because I really want to hear this. BJ, what did what? she say when you said, "Do you have any goals in life, or what are your goals?" What was her answer? Very quickly, please. I told you. you her answer, her answer was logically um, uh, up to my standards as far as being some uh, like ten to five years. Matter of fact, five year plan. It's, she don't have it. She don't have a five year plan. Nothing like that. It's nothing yeah, financial. Well, what did she say? If you can tell us, what did she say? Okay, though? okay. Like, what okay. did she say? We want to know. Okay. She, she wants to be um she wants to be uh say like a a, a dancer um uh, um uh, oh my gosh uh, yeah that, there you go that's one five dancer you're and, late in the game I, exactly exactly that's what I'm saying in the fantasy world exactly there you go okay well she was the dancer just basically an entertainer well that's well the entertainment world and all that stuff just it's, it's crazy I'm like are you serious no. It's more than that, she though. was that's, just that's saying something off the seat of her pants, like when you're asking a five-year-old what she they want to be when they grow up. She was serious. I don't know. No, no, no. I'm that. saying she didn't no, have a plan. She was just saying something off the right. seat of her pants, and that was it. Well, here's the thing. Because if she wanted to be something like a dancer, that's, you start that out when you're like a teenager or if you didn't have any support. You start that out when you're like 19, 20. And, 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 you don't start saying, I all. want to no, be a dancer no, no. at 45. For years. The top it all. She has, a bachelor, she has a bachelor degree in finances from Rutgers, but she don't want to go oh. to the finances, financial um, oh industry. Oh, God. She is going through a midlife right. crisis, still living at her parents' house. Like, bye-bye. Yeah. People yeah. are yeah. We can talk about that so, on the show, another super show, Kai. 
That's people probably where what? she's afraid of success. Pe- people are afraid of success, and that's a great example because she has no, a no, really – It's not a great example. Yeah. No, no, no. It's, it's not a great example. Yeah. No, no. Okay, okay. Okay, so we only have look, 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 people. We got we to gotta cut this short. So next show, we're actually going to continue talking about this because I'm very interested in this situation that BJ is talking about. And we'll be answering your relationship questions such as, my daughter is engaged to an Asian man. I don't have a problem with Asians, but I believe in all white babies. Should I tell my daughter this? So we'll be answering <laughs> questions such as that <laughs> next week yourself, Thursday lady. right here on No Conduct Radio. <laughs> so we'll see you next week, 6 p.m. Eastern Time. Peace okay. out, everyone. Yes, everybody have a terrific and safe week. Goodbye. Oh, my God. Bye, Every Felicia. single time. <laughs>